Thank you for joining me as I share my thoughts on Alien Romulus. So I went to the AMC fan screening of Alien Romulus and I got a pen and a something, but it's kind of cool because it has that and it'll live on my shelf. I'm a huge fan of the Alien franchise. I mean, honestly, I think I'm more of a bit of a traditionalist. I like Alien Aliens. I think Alien 3 is watchable, and Alien 4 I got strong opinions on. Ultimately, I kind of like it a lot. Kind of like it better than Prometheus. So like the philosophical alien stuff that really Scott tried to do, I, I appreciate what he was trying to do. It's just, I it just wasn't for me with Alien Covenant. <sighs> so where does Alien or Romulus fit in? in that ranking. Honestly, it ranks pretty high, in my opinion. With a caveat, I walked out not feeling awesome. I was walking out with audience members who were just super excited and thinking this is the best thing and it surprised them and it was gonna be bigger than Deadpool and Wolverine. I'll tell you what, it's not. But that being said, when I walked out, I felt kind of guilty that I didn't love it as much as the audience I was with or maybe my expectation. And I, uh, this morning when I was talking to my wife about a completely different uh, movie that's some smaltzy drama and she said something about how she hated the ending and it clicked. And the reason why I did not like the ending of Alien Romulus is because we've saw it before. In, in horror films, there are rules and you have to set up these rules. And the one thing about Alien, which is interesting, is that they break the rules almost every single film. You can find up and coming directors who can do claustrophobic horror films like Fede Alvarez, who did Don't Breathe. So you have somebody that actually knows the genre, but what it all kind of really boils down to is that it's a, a greatest hits album. So you basically took all the ingredients from all the other movies and pulled from those and kind of threw this into this movie. There are some fresh ideas that Fede threw in at the end, trying to do more fan service than there really needed to be. Kind of just ruined it for me. Not to say that I didn't enjoy the whole entire experience, because I really did. But, but because at the end, and I'm not going to spoil anything if you haven't seen it. Alien Resurrection. I We've seen it before. It's nothing new. Overall, it's very well done. I think it hits all the marks. It's fan service, and I think general fans are just going to absolutely love it. Alien was a gem. Aliens was a phenomenon. Alien 3 was a cash grab gone wrong. Alien 4 was to try to bring it back, do something different with a director that I am absolutely in love with that didn't work for a lot of other reasons. Fan service, Alien versus Predator, and then Ridley Scott goes going on this philosophical uh, mind trip of his creation. So I... I get it, and out of all the movies, they're not bad. I mean, it's like on a bad day, you can watch a, any Alien movie and feel completely okay with it. At least for me. Alien Romulus actually, for me, falls at in the top three. Alien, Aliens, and Alien Romulus. And all the other ones have their own awesomeness to it. So it, it, it is what it is. So, anywho, those are my thoughts my opinions and I really love to know what you really thought about Alien Romulus and to see if I am wrong or if you love that ending let me know but there was some all in all there's some really good stuff in this film so he, he, he did something right so with all that said tell me what you thought what your thoughts are and I will love to know what you think of Alien Romulus run